This is the podcast for the week of May 31st, 2024. And it's not safe for work, and neither am I. <laughs> be a very short podcast because we had some medical excitement around our way. Uh, we're fine. I'm fine. But uh, yesterday, on Wednesday, I had a uh, rather large problem with my right eye. It came on all of a sudden, and it was pretty alarming. And of course, it came on after everything in, in, the, in Springfield was closed. The urgent care places were all closed. So we consulted Dr. Google, who you can always trust. <laughs> and Dr. Google said, oh, if you have these symptoms, you should go to the emergency room right now. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of exciting. So we contacted our physician at home, and he referred us to that. So the people at the emergency room took us right away. And I got every test there is uh, to eliminate possibilities. It's, uh, it's nothing that it's, – it's the least serious thing it could be, just about. But they had to make sure I wasn't losing my mind or shooting clots all over myself or having a heart attack or having a stroke or whatever. So I got all the scans. I got an IV put in. They gave me some lovely drugs that made me feel warm like a baby. Uh, I had a CAT scan. It was fun. So um, they determined that it wasn't any of those things. And that was uh, until after midnight. Mm -hmm. So it was a very long day yesterday and this morning. And <clears throat> this morning we uh, uh, hooked up with an optometrist. Uh, Blue Gal did all of this work, all the calls, made all of the arrangements because she's fucking amazing. And we went in and they put us through our paces and gave us all kinds of tests. Us, by us, I mean me. Uh, they determined by pushing on my eye and shooting lasers into it and scanning it every which way and putting drugs in there that I had a tear mm -hmm. in my retina. Mm-hmm. Apparently, once you hit a certain age, uh, once you're once you're old enough for AARP, <laughs> <laughs> there's no but, age limit on <clears throat> AARP, honey. <laughs> but no, not you're not old enough for Medicare. Right. Uh, the vitreous fluids in your eye tend to back off, and that resolves itself unless it sticks and you get a tear. So I do not have a detached retina, but I have a torn retina. So we had two great doctors and a bunch of awesome nurses and the people in the ER were amazing. I mean, just best care anywhere, really just top notch. So, uh, they prepped me and I got a freeze ray shot into my, my head, which is very exciting. Um, I was told strong men faint at this sort of thing. I tend not to believe it, but it was, it was not pleasant. It was necessary, however, and they took care of me right away. And so now I am at home. Excuse yeah. Me. I have to say that, <clears throat> that, whole procedure at the eye doctors and it's a whole clinic so we saw an op optometrist who then referred us to an ophthalmologist down the hall yeah. down the hall let me go see if he's right he's, he's, he's the available hall. and he came in and and he and uh drift glass are both blessed with bald heads so and and, and dry wit and i should say so we got along got along fine. swimmingly swimmingly um and so the time from the time of the appointment which was twelve forty five. right until we got home was after six. Yeah. So. And in the meantime, a former president of the United States got uh, convicted of 34 felonies. So Apparently there was other news today besides my <laughs> goddamn eye. Um, so, uh, yes, we're celebrating, but my, my usual um, slamming my head against the desk in celebration will have to be postponed. Good I'll probably Lord. have a, yeah. a small adult beverage and go to bed early with some painkillers. But Yeah. Um, uh, that's why you're not getting a long podcast today. Right. Because we got real busy <laughs> real fast. And exhausted. We're exa <clears throat> yeah. we, I mean, we were up past midnight last night at the doctor all afternoon today. And, yeah, it, we're both real tired. <laughs> on the upside, I'm pretty sure I met my deductible for the year. Yeah. Or maybe the next couple, three years. And so. I'm putting a link to a GoFundMe uh, <laughs> in the description of this podcast because we are at a... We have a $5,900 deductible each. Uh -huh. So Drift Glass has clearly reached that, according to the ophthalmologist, who uh, was beside himself that the ER gave him a CAT scan. Yes, yeah, so don't don't let them do that again. Don't let them do that again. Yes. Go with a sprained ankle. We're going to have to have a CAT scan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. That yeah, yeah, seems yeah. to be... Uh, SLP. One of the things that uh, I, w I was pleased and a little bit surprised that 
uh, a doctor within Springfield Clinic would be so critical of an emergency room in Springfield. Yeah. But so he, now we know. he sort of rolled his eyes and said, yeah, they gave you a CAT scan. That is not something you needed. So, um, But they did. They eliminated, and, and the doctor there was in the, at the ER was very nice. He wanted to eliminate clots and make sure that your brain was okay. Yeah. Brain is still awful, but, but not in a way that they could <laughs> fix it anyway. And, we, and one other thing. We we did spend a great deal of the last eighteen hours or so yeah. counting our blessings. Yeah. yeah, because what we saw in the ER on a slow night was pretty grim. Absolutely. Um, and but people being taken care of by by dedicated nurses and doctors, cheerful <clears throat> in the middle of the night, people who clearly had been roughed up. Yep. Uh, some abuse. There were some people there who were, just, you know, just it's the typical ER. You walk in any ER, any place in America, any city of any size on any night. Right. That's what we saw. You're going to see ind- uh, indigent, uh, damaged people. Right. Yep. Being yep. taken care of. Yep. Thanks to a medical system which uh, could be so much better, but is there for the people who need it when they need it. And yeah. so we were easy. Yeah, we were. We were. Uh, Beloved as someone that could explain our situation to them, yep. had good insurance, yep. and be able to follow instructions. And we're ble- and we're bleeding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, no, yeah. There were no gunshots, no knife wounds. Yeah, just just yeah. this thing that we were told to come here for. We could speak intelligently and understand the instructions. Yeah, and so we were fine. Yeah, um, yeah. They treated yeah. us as I said very well. They were all very competent and cheerful, and uh, we were just very We lucky. were an easy patient for them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's the reason you ain't got nothing from <laughs> us today. <laughs> now, uh, this is being the Thursday podcast. By next week, I should be sufficiently recovered to have right. an opinion or two about the state of affairs. <laughs> So and, we'll, and we'll have a lot to talk about with uh, Donald Trump at the Libertarian Convention about the conviction and the reaction of the media to it. Yeah. Uh, the New York Times still sucks. Axios still sucks. And Politico is garbage. Yes. Um, so we'll have all that to talk about. We will be doing two political podcasts next week. Yeah. Tuesday will be political. It'll be a professional left podcast. And Thursday, of course, will be as well. Drift Glass has a follow-up appointment on Thursday, however. I do. I <laughs> so do. Appar- we, we might be a little late on Thursday with the podcast. Yeah. We'll see. Apparently, um, there's a whole thing they give you to do, and we've got all that covered. But um, they would like to see me again in case something goes horribly wrong. Right. The chances are very, very low. We're very, very optimistic. I have a great wife. Uh, it's just wonderful to be married to someone that you love and who's smart and who takes care of you. So, mm. again... And I know we have a lot of atheist listeners, so take this for what it's worth. Counting our blessings the last 18 hours consciously. Yep. And yep. and saying thank you to people who were great, who were nice to us and who were yeah. gracious. Yeah. Uh, really, it it is a reminder. There are really good people in the world doing excellent work uh, who don't get any headlines and who take care of us poor broken souls every day. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are thoroughly grateful for that. And we're thoroughly grateful for you guys who will tolerate the fact this is not a one-hour David Brooks rant from yours truly. <laughs> oh, well, Dan, we can't wait to hear what David Brooks has to say tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, he'll have a column tonight. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm hoping my eyes will clear up. I'm wearing a patch. Yeah, he's got to wear I'm, a, I'm a shield. A, a, um, plastic cup over his eye. Yeah, like uh, a so he doesn't strap. scratch it. <laughs> like, like a, jock, a jock strap, jock strap over for his my eye. Eyeball. All right, all right. My balls itch. No, not those. <laughs> not those. Anyway, so anyway, that's... he hasn't lost his sense of humor in the midst of being absolutely giddy over uh, a Trump conviction oh, yeah. and just being tired. And hungry and tired. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, we, we don't know what the Internet kitties think, but they think I probably look pretty ridiculous. And that's probably a, an accurate assessment. So love y'all. See you a little bit. Talk to you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Let's think about living. Think about living. Let's think about loving. Think about loving. Let's think about the hooping and the humping and the popping and the loving, loving, loving. Let's forget about the whining and the crying, the shooting and the dying and the fellow with the switchblade knife. Let's think about living. Let's think about life. The Professional Left Podcast is recorded under a Creative Commons license. Copyright 2024-25. DGBG Productions.